Hey guys, welcome back. So this week I'm gonna to talk to you about some of my favorite short game techniques that are gonna help you control your trajectory, control your spin, get the ball stopping, and hit way better shots around the green. Thank you for joining me as we talk about wedges. Hey guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and if you wanna join the community, subscribe. I greatly appreciate everybody who's been joining us for all of these videos, and you make this channel a great success. All right, so when we're talking short game, we have to understand what we're looking for, okay? Now, there's the difference between that high trajectory shot and that low trajectory shot. Now, we can get spin on either shot. We just have to play them a little bit differently. So the first shot I'm going to address is the higher soft pitch shot. Now, when I'm trying to hit this shot, I'm looking to get in here and get the club more up and down and keep the face and the loft consistent throughout the entire move. Now, when I'm trying to hit the higher shot, I'm not looking to get into a position where I start getting my hands working ahead, and I definitely don't wanna be hitting down on the golf ball. We wanna be feeling like we're leaving everything flat and we're making contact with the ground using the back of the golf club, okay? So you hear oftentimes about using bounce. Now, you can use bounce in a whole bunch of different ways. And in a second, we're gonna talk about using the bounce to hit down on the golf ball for the lower shot. But if you're looking to do it, the goal on the higher shot is to feel that we're just grazing along the ground with the back edge of the club in order to optimize the amount of loft that we are delivering. Now, this is just for a standard, basic, straightforward chip shot. We're not talking about the high lofted shot where we're trying to create a lot of trajectory, but just the normal soft trickler that a lot of players like to see. Now, if we're trying to hit the shot where we're getting it lower, you know, with more spin, but a lower shot, we need to be in a position where the, the hands lead the club. We need to have some shaft lane. Now, there's been a lot of talk over the years about how if you try and get the handle leading into the strike, there's gonna be no way that you can use the bounce but we can still use the bottom of the club to make contact. We don't have to be digging if we leave a little bit more width into our golf swing. So I can get lean here, okay? I can get the handle forward, I can work back, I can work through, and as long as my body is extending up and through the strike, I'm still gonna be able to get my hands forward and get that descending angle of attack. Now, that ball is gonna launch out lower, if I'm making clean, crispy contact, I'm going to be getting more spin on that golf shot, and I'm gonna see the ball stop fairly quickly, okay? A lot of tour players have used this shot for years. Just keep the handle forward. I used to talk back in the day about my different trajectory shots. I'm gonna feel like when I wanna hit the lower shot, I'm gonna get more pressure forward, my chin's gonna move forward, my sternum's gonna move forward, and my hands will go over and get closer to the lead shoe. Now, when I turn back and through, I'm still finishing in a nice extended area. You didn't see me hit down and take a big divot with that. If I'm trying to get it higher, I'll get in here and I'll feel my pressure is more 50-50. The handle's more straight up and down. When I turn back and through, you're still gonna see me work into that same extended position. If I can get there, I'm gonna put a good strike on the golf ball. And with both shots, I'm gonna be using the bounce. So we always talk about using the bounce. If you're using the back of the club, you are putting a great safety net into your golf game that's going to allow you to have cleaner contact over and over again. We don't wanna be caught in a position where we're using the leading edge and straight digging it into the turf if you're the average golfer. That is a much more difficult shot and can lead to that big disastrous miss where you leave that golf ball right in front of you. So practice and learn how to use these shots and you're gonna start seeing yourself playing a lot better golf. If you're trying to get the grasp of how to hit them. This Tuesday in just the drills, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of drills that I use with my players in order to help them clean up their short game. I hope to see you on Tuesday. Let's get better at golf. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.